Bye bye, Jakarta. Bye bye. Thank you. So guys, we made our way to Gambir Station. We're headed to Bandung today. We're taking the executive class train to Bandung. We're very sad to be leaving Jakarta, but we're also very excited to see Bandung. So, a new journey begins. I have to say that the Gambir Station is absolutely amazing. It's so clean, super modern and it's actually like a shopping mall. There's so many different stores, Krispy Kreme, Starbucks, McDonald's, CFC, KFC, everything that you could think of is in the train station. So we're very excited now to see what the actual train is like as well. The station is top tier. It's actually a lot better than a lot of the train stations that you would see in the West, in Europe. America or anywhere like that. This place is incredible. All right, so we made it to the platform. Uh, by the way, don't forget your passport. <laughs> if you want to board one of these trains, we had to show a passport and everything to obviously show who we are. And now we are at the platform, just about to board the train. We are in executive class four today. So let's go right in and see what it's like. Let's do this. This is the train itself, guys. Wow. We are ready. Oh, hello. <laughs> Toilet. Oh, look at this. This looks very comfortable. There's plenty of storage space in this class, which is very good for us because we're obviously traveling full time, so we have a lot of baggage with us all our entire life is literally with us in two big backpacks so emotional these, baggage <laughs> emotional baggage as well yeah <laughs> this is our bags here but uh, both of them should fit perfectly fine up here yeah i think we're good just like that so as you can see uh, there's a lot of room for your luggage and your feet and everything we also have a power plug-in when we arrived there was a little uh, garbage bag for all of your needs and we have <laughs> a little table as well and you can go back in your seat as well i didn't do it yet so i don't know how flat this actually goes but i think it goes pretty far back the woman behind me probably doesn't want me to go all the way back even though she would probably still have way more than enough space but yeah very comfortable setting here and uh, I think we could go drive around the world in this train and it would be super comfortable <laughs> <laughs> One whole month. One whole month, yeah. But now the rest of Java is waiting for us, so we need to go and explore a little bit more. It's great to see that they're selling food on the train, so if you guys are on a particularly long train or you're feeling hungry, they have a whole bunch of different things for sale. You can get like a nasi goreng, nasi bali, a whole bunch of different types of food coffee, tea, snacks, everything. It's very, very good. Now, luckily, we stopped off in Indomaret in the station just before we got on the train, so we have plenty of snacks. The views so far on this journey did not disappoint. We saw loads and loads of rice, patties, uh, beautiful nature and so on. And we are sitting on the right side of the train, thankfully, because I think if you're on the left side of the train, you have a little bit more of a like industrialized type of view. So on the left side, there seem to be some manufacturing halls and so on. And on the right, there seem to be a little bit more of uh, nature and it's really really nice to see uh, because obviously we didn't spend so much time outside of Jakarta so seeing nature and so on around us um, really makes us feel excitement and uh, yeah we're ready to really go out there and explore the rest of Java obviously we saw Depok 
and Bogor, which are both really, really nice areas as well, but still relatively um, yeah, close to Jakarta. So uh, we're, I'm really excited to see how nature might change um, the further east we go, obviously, over the next few months. This one here is one of my personal uh, favorite snacks here in Indonesia. Uh, it's basically just like white bread, like a sweet brioche type of bread. And in between uh, each and, and every one of these like sort of parts, there's a chocolate filling in there. So you can just break it off and it's each part is going to be filled with chocolate. It's so, so nice. And it's only like 19,000 rupiah. So just about like a little more than a euro. Uh, it's just my comfort food at the moment. I can show you guys how it works. It, you see, you just break one part off. And you think it doesn't have any filling? That's what I thought in the beginning. I thought it was like a cheat or something, like there is no filling at all. But then when you break it again, it's filled. <laughs> Every one of those pieces are filled, so nice. It tastes amazing too. Oh, uh, well, uh, well. Just comfort food, so nice. <laughs> I have to say that the train so far has been absolutely incredible. One of the best trains actually that we've ever taken since we started traveling and that says a lot because we've taken a lot of public transport all over the world at this point. We've been traveling now for around two years straight. This train is exceptional. People are constantly coming through and taking garbage so anything that anybody uses is immediately put into a plastic bag so this train is literally spotless all the time and the views that we are getting all along the way have been out of this world like the nature of west java the nature of java in general indonesia you guys should be really really proud of this country because it is jaw-dropping it's so beautiful so green and incredibly clean as well we didn't see any garbage at all that's it's crazy uh, it literally makes us want to get off the train and go out and explore these random villages that we're riding past but i think we're starting now to get closer and closer to bandung so we're getting very excited for that we can't wait to see what type of a vibe bandung is i'm sure it's a lot more laid back slower than Jakarta. We're also going to show you guys our apartment as well, so wait for that. Okay guys, so we have arrived in Bandung. Very, very excited to be here. Now, next step for us is just to figure out how we're going to get to our accommodation. I think we're just going to order a grab or something, but uh, the weather already feels a little bit cooler here, no? Yeah, it's supposed to be a little bit colder here. Um, I think it's like about four or five degrees colder here than it is in Jakarta uh, because of a higher elevation. But other than that, it's still sunny, so uh, it's not going to be too cold, let's say it like that. And uh, yeah, we just have to figure out how to get to our Airbnb. I'm sure we can just order a grab or something like that. Um, yeah, won't be too hard, hopefully. Let's do it. Do you guys see the sheer amount of people that are arriving here today on a Saturday in Bandung? Uh, I do believe or I heard beforehand that Bandung is one of the places uh, that a lot of uh, Indonesian locals also go to in order to um, enjoy their weekend and so on. So it's, yeah, it's very crowded here today. <laughs> just checked into our Airbnb. It was a little bit complicated here and there because every time obviously you have a different system where sometimes you need to like pick up keys from box and then find the right elevator and so on because this complex is quite large and uh, yeah I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a tour I want to say. Uh, starting out with a bathroom. Nothing special it's a bathroom. It's a bathroom. It's a bathroom. <laughs> we have a fridge, rice cooker, Nice little kitchen with a gas stove here as well. This is gonna be where we are going to be sleeping. We have a nice big closet space here as well. We have an extra bed. Extra bed in case you're traveling with a child. We, we aren't, uh, but yeah, extra bed. And uh, then, oh, I didn't show you the TV. 
Oh yeah. TV space. And then we have an absolutely amazing view out of the window. Maybe, maybe, wait, wait, there you go. <laughs> Look at how high we are. Oh my God, this is so high. Have a view over Bandung. And down there we were already seeing about here. There's people in the street uh, letting some kites rise in the air and uh, some of the kites were actually here like on our height on the 26th floor it was really really crazy to see now crazy <laughs> really cool and uh, yeah this apartment is super good we have a swimming pool gym all the stuff that you would expect in like a condo style building there's also a place for laundry and stuff like that and uh, yeah i think we found ourselves a pretty good bargain on airbnb and we're going to be here for in Bandung, I think we're going to be here for around a week, so we have plenty to explore.